They both come from the same plant, but THCA won't get you high unless you heat it, and THCB just might make you sharper. So which one is right for you? Today, we're comparing THCA and THCB, how they work, how they feel, and what you really need to know. Plus, how they stack up against Delta 9 THC, the OG, and THCP, which supposedly is 33 times stronger than THC. What are they? So THCA is the raw, non-psychoactive form of the THC found in fresh cannabis. It won't get you high unless you heat it. That's why people smoke, vape, or cook THCA. Now, THCB is a psychoactive cannabinoid. It's similar to Delta 9 THC, but with a small twist. It has a four carbon atom side chain instead of a five carbon atom side chain. And that tiny change can make it bind even tighter to your CB1 receptors, possibly creating a stronger effect. So what are the benefits and effects? Well, THCA may help with inflammation, pain, and brain health. It doesn't get you high unless it's heated, but you can still take THCA in an edible form, whether it's added to your smoothie or in a gummy form. THCB is still new, but early research and users say it could help with pain and inflammation. Some even call it a smart high, meaning you feel clear, motivated, and functional. Not giggly, not foggy, just comfortably elevated. Of course, we need more human studies to confirm this, but early feedback is promising. So how does it compare to Delta 9 THC and THCP? Well, Delta 9 is the classic euphoric high. It's what you are probably most familiar with. And then you've got THCP, which is 33 times stronger. It's intense, it's heavy, it's sedating, and it is long lasting. And then you've got THCA in raw form, which is not psychotic, which will not make you high. And then you've got THCB, which is reported to feel lighter, more focused. Chemically, it binds tighter to your receptors, but in products that you're going to find, most companies only use a small amount of THCB because it's expensive and it's not well steady and it's still new. So a lot of products are gonna feel lighter than Delta 9 unless they're heavily concentrated or they're mixed with Delta 9. So it's very important to look at all the cannabinoids in the product that you purchase. So how long does the high last? Well, if you heat THCA and it converts to THC, it's gonna last about three to five hours, depending on how you ingested it. THCB kicks in fast. It lasts two to four hours. So it's quicker, but shorter than Delta 9. Now, say you wanna try THCB, go ahead but make sure you buy it from a brand you trust. Check for third-party lab results. Check what other cannabinoids are in the product. What's the potency? Check that it's been tested for contaminants. Just make sure you understand what you're consuming. And if you can't find the test results, mm, throw it out. Don't risk it, move on. So THCA and THCB are both exciting, but in different ways. THCA has the benefits without the high, unless you heat it. So if you live in a place where you can't get THC, THCA, is a game changer. THCB is possibly a clearer, lighter buzz for staying productive, but it's still new and we still don't know all the side effects or the long-term effects and also what it's mixed with. It's not gonna be a pure product. If this helped, like, comment, and subscribe. If you tried THCA or THCB, let me know in the comments your experience and check out mypaincenter.com for trusted cannabinoid products that actually work. I'm Shereen Kassam and I will see you on the next video.